Hi, my name is Helia Singh and welcome to my show, Wealth Coaching with Helia Singh, the fastest way to build wealth. So what are your top three advices on marketing on budget? Okay. The, the first advice I'd give to people is you want to make sure that before you increase your budget, it doesn't matter if you're spending $1, one hour, $1,000, 1,000 hours, you want to make sure that you know that you can get a return. So it's not so much about how much money or how many people you're talking to, but more the percentage. What's your conversion rate? So as an example, if I hold a live presentation and I know that for every 10 people that are in the room, one person is going to purchase and that is a good return on investment for me, then that's, that's good enough. Now, if I go to Facebook ads and I scale and I, and I have, a, if I spend $10,000 on Facebook ads, well, then it's totally fine. So my first piece of advice is it's not about the volume. It's not about the quantity. It's about the ratio, your conversion percentage. You want to in increase your conversion percentage. And once you're, um, you know your numbers and you know that, let's say, for every 10 strategy sessions you have, two people are going to purchase and you're happy with those percentages and you can make money from them, then you can scale. Then you know how much money you can spend on, on Facebook ads. So that'd be the first thing. The second thing is not to go for the sale too quickly. Always think about building a relationship. It doesn't mean it takes six months or six years. And I'm not that type of person that says you need 27 touch points, but you at least need to have the first date. So in that system I gave you, meet ideal clients, ask for their time. So I'm not asking for their money straight away. I'm asking for a first date, which is time. Then on the third step, this is when I could ask for the, the, um, the money. So the third tip I'd, I'd give people is just a bit of persistence. I find that people try things and it doesn't work. And they think, oh, you know, I've done two events, but they don't work. I, I spent $100 on Facebook ads and that didn't work. When you first start off in business and marketing is no different, you have like a shotgun approach. You've got to try different products, different angles, different pitches, different marketing methods. And then you might try 10 different things and then two of them work. And then you, you focus more and more and get those two to, to work even better. Um, so, yeah, that would be my, my third tip, that you take some testing before you figure out what works. And then um, you can just focus on, on, on those, yeah. Well, as you know, Cham, this program is all about uh, marketing in terms of uh, wealth creation. What are your tips and what do you think is the difference or relationship between marketing and wealth? It's, it's massive. If we look at the ways that you can build wealth, especially passive income, there's really only three assets, asset classes. Number one would be shares. Number two would be property. And number three would be business. But if we have a look at the world's wealthiest people, I would say 99% of them did it through business. It's very hard to make a billion dollars by investing in shares and then compounding the growth or, you know, getting your hundred thousand dollars and then putting it into a property waiting five years, drawing the equity out by like no one got to a billion dollars by compounding their properties or compounding their shares. They all did it through business. Now, I'm not saying you want to be a billionaire, but if you even want to make multiple like millions of dollars, just learn from the people who created wealth really quickly. As an example, if you take Mark Zuckerberg, yes, he's an extreme example, but he went from scratch, no money, being in his dormitory at, at college, to the youngest billionaire ever with, I think his net worth is like $40 billion in the space of about 12 years. There's no property investment scheme that can go from scratch to $40 billion in 12 years. So even if you want a fraction of that, like even from scratch to $5 million in five years, it's all possible with business. And when it comes to business, the most important thing is attracting clients. That's the, the success of most businesses is due to attracting clients. And the number one way to attract clients is through marketing. So I don't know any other asset class where I can spend a thousand dollars on something like Facebook ads. And then within three months, I make $5,000. So I can turn my thousand into 5,000 in three months through something like Facebook ads. Because if I put my thousand dollars into the share market at the end of the year, I'd be lucky to have $1,200, which is a $200 profit versus 
in the example I gave you, it's a, like a $4,000 profit in, th in like a month or two. If you annualize that and reinvest it, that could be 20, you could turn $1,000 into $20,000. If you have a profitable business, that, that's the, obviously that's the, that's the catch if you have a profitable business.